Hey, ciao. doing welcome back um we get ready to try something new i love doing product reviews they're fun for me i'm pretty much just volunteering my hair as tribute for us all i usually do new products on the market but i also do subby requests or suggestions and one subby unfortunately i did not screenshot it so i cannot shout you out i do apologize but one of you all told me hey you should try out the Cantu gels and it just so happens that they were at the target that i go to all the time i have three gels i have the Jamaican black castor oil, flaxseed and olive oil, and the one with honey. So it turns out these gels, um, they have different missions. This one is for strengthening, this is for moisture retention, and this is just for anti-shedding. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, to the best of my abilities, I'm gonna try all three gels. I'm gonna use a little, 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 little. what do I wanna do? I'm going to use the strengthening Jamaican black castor oil on the back of my hair. I'm gonna do this patch with anti-shedding and this patch with the moisture retention gel. There's gonna be a lot going on, but hey, we are gonna make it work. And can we just shout out the fact, and I'm doing this in every video because I'm very proud. Can we shout out the fact of how much my hair is doing? The brown color hair is Tex Lax. My black hair is my natural hair, and in five months, it has really been growing out. Kudos to me. So let's go ahead and section this off. All right, let me run this comb through one more time. Right now, I have on my hair the Carol's Daughters Goddess Strength Leave-In. I use the conditioner and leave-in today. My hair feels amazeballs. So let's check out these ingredients. Okay, so I'm gonna do the strengthening style gel, Jamaican black castor oil on the back. Um, it says this gel is no alcohol, no crunch, no flakes, no itch. Awesome, cause honey, she don't like flaking. I'm looking at the back, I don't see any PVP, nor do I see xanthan gum. Those are known to flake, so I do like that. Um, it also says, in addition to the other stuff, it says no mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicone, stalates, paraffin, or propylene glycol. Cool. Hmm. It got a cool little smell to it. It looks a lot like Style Factor gel. I actually like Style Factor. It flaked up on me, but I like Style Factor. So just looking at it, it looks very promising. All right. Ooh. It feels good going on. I'm gonna shingle just a little bit. This feels really good. I'm gonna put some more on my ends just to make sure they're coated. I'm gonna do that to the rest of this patch and then we're gonna move on to the next section. Okay, so I'm pretty much finished with this section and I'm gonna say this, I'm dealing with two textures of hair. This is my Tex Lax hair, this is my virgin hair and I can already tell this is gonna be a good wash and go. Um, I feel like I have whole, well the way it looks right now, it looks like it's gonna have whole and definition for both the Tex Lax and the natural hair. And I like this. So let me go ahead and do the, this patch on the side, continuing to use the Jamaican black castor oil. And then we're gonna go to the next section. So the Jamaican black castor oil is completely applied. Now, of course, I won't have my final thoughts until I see how it dries down. But just looking at the way my curls are clumped, both the natural texture and the text lax hair. Girl, like, look at this. Let me make sure you see. Look at this. That looks good. So um, as long as it dries down with no flaking and not too much crunch, I'm going to love that. So right now, this is an absolutely yes, ma'am. All right, so since the closest one to me is the anti-shedding honey gel, I'll use that next. You see, we just getting all through this. I ain't gonna be before you long, saints. Same directions, no PVP, no xanthan gum. I don't see anything that, um, really causes flaking that i know of um it does have glycerin so keep that in mind the shelf life is 12 months once you open it it seems to be cool as far as ingredients go so like if you curly girl method type person i think you can use this this has more of a perfume smell it's very pleasant but they you can definitely tell they scented it to smell like honey texture looks really good um let's just apply it that was a lot to put on this one section Ooh. 
it glides on nicely and just like the back it looks like it's going to perform well i just got to see how this dries you shingle just a little i'm liking how it looks on both of my textures wait let me see again It's cool. The Jamaican black castor oil looked a little bit better on my natural texture, but at the same time, it's not a drastic difference. Nothing to make me say, oh, I wouldn't use this. So again, I won't know how it truly performs until it dries. It looks good. I, I will say that it does look good. Um, if you can tell, this is my natural. This is a text lex. Um, it looks good on both. So let me keep applying. But so far, so good on both of these gels. Later. Yeah, I would uh I would normally twist it. I, I would have to twist this because I, I don't know if you can see it, but I went through and I really applied and made sure that I really rubbed in on this natural, but it's still puffing up. I guess we'll judge it when it's dry, right? But right now, I don't like how it's, I don't like how this honey gel is applying to my hair. All right, so the honey gel is completely applied. Honestly, I like the gel, but I will use it more so for a twisting style versus a wash and go. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just sometimes you have to use products for what they're good at. So I'm not gonna throw the whole gel out and say it's not good. No, I just didn't love how it was performing on my natural hair. I could tell it was gonna be a little frizzy there. So to get the most out of it, I would twist. So the parts of my hair that is visible, I did go ahead and um, just twist it. And by visible, I mean like that'll be right here. And I don't want my part area to be frizzy. So I put some twists right along the first layer so that can look good. So let's get to this last section, which is the flaxseed olive oil gel. Yes, hunting. Same old thing. All the good stuff. None of the bad. And um, it's embarrassing. Why does it smell like lime or something? I guess let's take this. It feels good on my hair. Hmm. So far, I like it. All right, so let me see what these roots talking about. Take a little bit and put that there. What it looking like? Oh, it definitely got that shrinkage bag. Oh, child. Oh, yes, honey. I don't know if you can see what I see, but yeah, I like that. I like that. Which one is this? The flaxseed and olive oil? I like this. Honestly, I like the way it looks. Yes, and it got shot, girl. I like this flaxseed gel. Yeah, well, flaxseed and olive oil. Let me get the olive oil some credit too. I like this. Let me apply it to the rest. I'm also gonna twist right there and I'll be back. So it's all applied. Um, if I had to rank them all right now, the order that I would rank them is my favorite is the Jamaican black castor oil, then the flaxseed, and then the honey. I really don't have anything bad to say. I can't really say anything until I see how it dries. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna let this completely air dry. I'm not going to um, diffuse or anything. I'm just gonna let it air dry. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna come back to show you. I'm gonna lift the twist up. I'll show you my roots, which will let you see how it performed on my natural texture. And then I'll go ahead and go style it. But yeah, so far, so good. So really quickly, I had to run an errand. And since this lighting is really good outside, I'm gonna show you my hair. The Jamaican black castor oil, it did excellent. Okay, so this is the side with the honey. This is the flaxseed gel. The thing I was most concerned about was my natural texture. To be honest, my Texlax hair performs really well with almost anything, as long as it's not too much protein. Um, but my natural hair is what I was concerned about. So I'm not concerned about this. Let's look at these roots. Here are the roots with the honey gel. It's a little bit of frizz, but not much. It could also be because I maneuvered it while it's still slightly damp. And here are the roots with the flaxseed oil gel. 
and honestly it's just a little bit of frizz but nothing to make me say that i don't like it and then on top of that my hair is still slightly damp right at the roots so lifting up wet hair probably wasn't the best thing but i do want you to know i do at this point love all three gels i know somebody will get me if i don't show you my jamaican black castor oil so this is it and this is how the roots perform so out of all the gels the roots look the best on the Jamaican black castor oil. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is diffuse the rest of the way. And here are the final results. I like my hair. I think it's cute. Um, I honestly, this is just me being honest. Since I've been texturized, the only time I use gels is when I'm demoing products for YouTube. My personal regimen is either a styling cream or a mousse because it's just a lot easier. I just like it. And so as far as gels go, I honestly like them. Would I repurchase them all again? No, but that's again because I don't use gels in my personal life. If I was recommending anything to you all, it'll be this bad boy right here. This Jamaican black castor oil, I like her. Oh yes, I like her. The other ones were not bad. I'm not saying that, but this one, yeah, it's, it's some minute. It's some minute. If you have not tried these, because I know they've been out for a while, I have never looked at a single review on them. And honestly, it's because, I ain't gonna lie, I have not been a Cantu fan over the years. I just, I tried one leave-in, hated it. I demoed a curl stretcher for my YouTube channel, but I've only used it that one time and it was for the channel. Um, but they do have a conditioning co-wash that I like. Other than that, I have not been a fan of this brand. So anytime I saw a video on these gels, I bypassed it. And so I don't know what other people think about it, but I think out of all of them, I really like this Jamaican black castor oil. The green one, I don't mean no harm. Something real funky about it. I, and by funky, I literally mean the smell. I don't like the way it smells. Like at first I was like, do it smell like lime? Then I started feeling like it smelled like aloe. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I don't like the way it smells. I like the way it works, but I don't like the way it smells. This one, she's cute. I would use her as a twist in gel, but I mean, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm not taking it back to the store. It's just, it wasn't necessarily my favorite. But looking at how my twist out looks on the top, it's cute. So I like her. She can stay. The green one can stay. I'll just ignore the smell. Every time I was doing my head, I'll just catch it with me like, baby, get, get, get. Mm. But this one, I like her. She's good. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any other recommendations or suggestions or something you just want to see demo, leave them down below. Or if you just like my personality and want to spend a little time with your girl, come on back and see me next time. And uh, yeah, actually, uh, oh shoot. I got a few videos on private that I haven't uploaded yet. So I don't know what'll be next. I think it might be Maui Moisture or it might be Texture ID. I don't know. But you'll see me real soon, probably tomorrow. All right, bye.